Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Back in 2020, former Prime Minister of Pakistan admitted having stolen US Tomahawk cruise missile, reverse engineered it and made their own cruise missile. The US Tomahawk cruise missile was fired towards Afghanistan but the missile had landed in Balochistan and Islamabad used it to create its own Babur missile. On 9th March, India has accidentally fired Brahmos missile which fell 124 kilometers inside Pakistan. This has raised a discussion if Pakistan with the help of China can reverse engineer the Brahmos missile from what is left. In late 90s, several Tomahawk missile landed in Pakistan territory during Operation Infinite Reach. Pakistani press also claimed that a missile had landed in Balochistan's Kharan Desert. Russian intelligence had also reported to have intercepted Al-Qaeda communications, indicating that China sent officials to examine and buy some of the unexploded missiles. Pakistani missile scientists, with the help of China, had studied the recovered Tomahawk's computer, GPS and propulsion system and allegedly used these components to design its own version of a cruise missile. Now an important point to note here is that the missiles reverse engineered by Pakistan was almost intact. However, the missile fired accidentally by India is alleged with Brahmos. If you look at the footage of the missile, it's completely burnt out. Looking at the amount of destruction caused by missile around the area, it would be foolish to expect seeker, GPS, propulsion system, onboard computer and control system to be intact. The visual part is the solid booster and some structure. Solid booster is not that critical technology and the structure details of Brahmos is already available on public domain. It's not possible to develop Brahmos missile just with this information. Back in October 2018, an engineer from Brahmos Aerospace Private Limited was arrested. He was heading the hydraulics and pneumatics and warhead integration wing of Brahmos production department. He is suspected to having passed on technical secrets related to missile technology to Pakistan and US agency. I am pretty sure he would have passed much valuable information than what Pakistan can extract from the leftover of a completely exploded supersonic missile. It has been almost three years. However, neither Pakistan nor US was able to develop any supersonic cruise missile like Brahmos. But then, the question is, what makes Brahmos so difficult to develop? It is a seeker and liquid ramjet engine. These are the most difficult part of a missile to master. In fact, Brahmos Aerospace had to spend several years and many testing before developing their indigenous seeker and booster to replace Russian component. China is also supplying many missiles including its PL-15E air-to-air missile to Pakistan Air Force. If the reverse engineering of missiles could have been that easy, then Pakistan would have developed many missiles indigenously like Babur. The material science and the process that creates the important parts of the missile such as seekers, booster, ramjet and electronics do not reveal themselves well. Therefore, it is utter stupidness to believe someone can reverse engineer an exploded missile. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.